Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up a feedback portal using Docker in a Docker container called Fighter. But first, a quick message from today's video sponsor. This episode is sponsored by Linode, the largest independent cloud computing provider. If you don't want to, or can't for whatever reason, self-host applications the way we talk about on this channel, Linode provides virtual servers that make it easy and affordable for you to host anything in the cloud. You can set up any of the applications that they have available in their marketplace with just a few clicks, or you can set up your own Docker VPS and install basically whatever you'd like in a Docker container. They have load balancers and firewalls available to help keep your apps online and safe. If you run into any trouble getting set up, Linode comes with amazing 24 seven customer support by phone or ticket, along with hundreds of guides and tutorials to help you get started. Sign up today at linode.com slash dbtech and get a $100 60 day credit on your new Linode account. Links are in the description. So if you've got a product or a service or something that you'd like to get feedback on, uh, an easy way to do that is using something like Fighter. And if we jump over to my desktop here, uh, we can see that Fighter uh, is, is, is right here at the top. It says customer feedback made easy. Fighter is a feedback portal that helps collect uh, and prioritize customer data in one place based on votes and ideas submitted. Uh, and here we can kind of see what that looks like. Um, and I, I'm sure you've seen stuff like this in the past on different sites. And in this video, I just want to show how quick and easy it is to get something like this set up. But first, let's take a quick look at the instance that I have set up on Docker uh, over here on my server. Uh, this is this is just basically what I've got in here for right now. Uh, it says, we'd love to hear what you're thinking about. What can we do better? This is the place to vote, discuss, and share ideas. Uh, over here, I've got a couple of them that I just put in uh, for the sake of demonstration here. Uh, of course, you know, we can, we can click on these and leave more comments. We can edit. We can respond. Unsubscribe if you're already subscribed to something. If you're not subscribed, you could then subscribe to this. And if you're a moderator, you can delete uh, the post here or the, the suggestion. Uh, if we come up to the top right, uh, we can see this is where you're going to see all of your notifications. Uh, nothing there because obviously I'm the only person in here. Uh, and if we come up to the top, we can see uh, my settings. Uh, where we've got, you know, email address, name, uh, avatar, we can choose from uh, Gravatar letter or custom, uh, notifications, how you want to get notifications, what notifications do you want to get, uh, API keys or delete account, all of those are available in the personal section of the settings for Fighter. And if we come over back, back up here to the top again, uh, we can see site settings, uh, we've got title, welcome message, of course you can put that in here, uh, this is a test Oops, no, you know what? It's not a test site. It's a demo site for a YouTube video. Uh, we uh, enter a uh, suggestion invitation here. This text is used as a placeholder for the suggestions text box. Uh, so you can fill that in. It's just kind of the, the dummy text that it shows right in there. Of course, logo, you can change the logo to whatever you'd like it to be. We're going to click save. <clears throat> and right there is the text that I put in. Uh, so let's come back over to site settings again. Uh, privacy, uh, do you want this to be an open site or a private site? You can toggle this right here to determine how you want to handle the site. Members, uh, you can search for members here uh, and just view all of the members that are available. Uh, we've got tags uh, for public and private tags. You can add tags here if you wanted to do that for categorization of different types of suggestions. Uh, invitations, uh, you can send invitations to people. Uh, you will need an SMTP for server set up for that in order to make it work. So uh, make sure that you've got something like that set up. I use uh, Google, uh, well, basically I've got a paid Google service, Google, I can't even think what it's called anymore, but basically I pay six bucks a month so that I've got an SMTP server through Google and my domain name. And uh, with that, I can set up app passwords and things like that. Uh, of course, there are lots of options out there for SMTP servers that you could use. Um, so you could, you know, send a sample email if you wanted to do that. You can customize the message, those sorts of things. Uh, over here, we've got authentication. Uh, do you want to allow email authentication? I actually really dig how authentication works on this, and I'll show that here in just a second. Um, or you can add Facebook, Google, or GitHub. Of course, with those, you'll need keys um, for, for the different, uh, you know, API keys and secret keys and public keys and all of that stuff for each of the different services. Uh, under advanced over here, we've got custom CSS. Uh, and it says, you know, keep it simple. Um, so there you go. There's some customized CSS stuff you can do there. Uh, webhooks, you can do uh, webhooks for that. And of course, you can export this uh, as you see fit. So it's very basic, and I actually appreciate that about it. This doesn't need to be robust. It doesn't need to be overly complicated. They've got what they need, and that's it. And I really do love that about this Docker container. So what I want to do here is actually sign out. <clears throat> um, and then I want to sign back in just so I can show you what that looks like. So I'll click sign in. I'm going to put my email address in. 
And here we are just a couple of seconds later. I get this email here that I can click and then it jumps me right back over to here and I am signed in and ready to go. So that's how easy it is to use Fighter. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's take a look at how easy it is to get Fighter installed. So this is the Docker Compose that's available over on their docs. I'll, of course, link to both of these. Um, th there are more options in theirs. Um, let me let me go find it just so that I don't mess this up. Deploy with Docker right there. Uh, prerequisites, you'll need Docker, Docker Compose. You'll need all this stuff. Um, and then an email sender, SMTP server, or Mailgun account. Um, and then when you get into their uh, Docker Compose, uh, you can see the email options. We've got uh, Mailgun, SMTP, and AWS. Uh, so you've got some different options there as far as notifications and that sort of thing is concerned. So uh, just know that that is there. You don't have to use an SMTP server. You can also use Mailgun uh, with their built-in uh, configuration here. So, uh, so basically, here it is. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just copy this. We'll jump over to here and then we'll get logged in. Of course, I'm doing this in uh, Proxmox. You could do this in Portainer. You could do this just in, in a standard Docker, bare bones, whatever you want to do. As long as you've got the prerequisites met, this will all be basically the same. So we're going to get logged in. And then, so now that we're logged in, I can do LS. Uh, and here I can see that I've got uh, Cloudflare in here. That's how I'm accessing my, my containers remotely on a URL uh, is using the, the Cloudflare tunnel option. Uh, so that's what that cloudflare.deb file is. And we've got our docker compose.yml file here. So let's actually edit that. Uh, we'll do nano docker compose. And here we are. This is the docker compose that I'm using just like we saw uh, over here on, on the dbtech.com site. Uh, but basically, once you've got all of this, uh, you can just uh, exit out. And do Docker compose, oops, Docker compose, if I could type up dash D like so, and then it's going to go ahead and deploy everything. So that's how easy it is to get Fighter set up. Uh, again, using Fighter, you can have your own feedback forum set up in a Docker container using uh, a domain name, whether you use an Nginx proxy manager, reverse proxy, or traffic, or Cloudflare tunnels, or whatever your uh, you know remote access preference is. There's lots of different options for that, of course. Um, but just in a few minutes, you can have your own feedback forum set up using Fighter. Um, and I think that's really all I wanted to cover in this video. But I do want to say thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me today. I really do appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. Helps me out quite a bit. If you know somebody interested uh, in something like this, be sure to share the video with them. Uh, down in the description, you can find different ways to support the channel, uh, whether it's financially or sharing or whatever the case is. Lots of different options down there to, uh, to, to support the channel. But I think with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and I will talk to you guys in the next video.